Okay, everybody, I got really excited about um, playing around with the shaders and stuff, and so I've been uh, uh, watching uh, The Art of Code all night. He's actually really great. I watched this other video, Shader Toy for Absolute Beginners, and of course he covers this really good um, function called Smooth Step. So what I did was I took it um, out of um, Shader Toy and I put it into um, uh, OpenGL here. So. I still got all the uh, functions that he created with me. That was great. Hash21, Hash12, Hash12 Polar, and Explosion. Those are awesome. Um, but I went through and I decided to do what he said and just draw a circle. Okay. So the first thing that he wanted you to do when you draw a circle is to um, use the smooth step to... Uh, well, let me show you how the circle excuse me, works. There's a transition between... There's a transition here between the uh, color purple and the color black, right? So you're able to use the smooth step to transition that color. See, because the variable that's co covering the color right here is the variable C, and I've got it in the red and the uh, blue coordinates, that's why it's purple. Um, the, what it does is um, the smooth step, okay. <laughs> is it takes, I just have to lower it and get these all lined up because I have my OCD here. It's da -da 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 -da. Okay, we got it good. <laughs> we got it now. I commented that one out. but uh, So what the smooth step does is it takes the values between 0.2 and 0.199 and it interpolates it smoothly. And if it's less than 0.2, it returns a uh, zero, and if it or less than that, it returns a zero or one. Basically, on either side of this um, this interpolation is one and zero. So if it's one, you can see how it would be red and blue, which is purple, which is on the inside. So obviously, that's the less than. And then if it's zero, that's the greater than because the distance is greater than two. And so that's how the error point two. So that's how you've got it there. And see, so look at how the edge is right here, okay? You might not be able to see this in the video, but I'm going to go ahead and take out a, a what do you, uh, precision, and I'm going to delete the last nine there. So you see how it's smoothed it out, and it, it's just really a nice gradient there, right at the edge, all the way around perfectly. That's just awesome. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This is, this is it for the code for the fragment shader. And you can leave out this line that's commented out right here. This is the only thing in the fragment shader. And the vertex shader is still just the single point that I hardwired in. And that's it. And uh, you only draw one point down here in the draw. So you draw one point and you send in the time. We don't even use that, but we still got that code in there. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you shortly because I'm going to be doing some of this shader stuff all week long. I'm going to learn about all the different functions and I'm going to feature them on my channel, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.